Hello everybody, this is John Christopher and coming up we're going to talk about getting your first Microsoft Applied Skills credential and why this is a great idea and how great it'll look on a resume. So stay tuned, here we go. Now real quick, if you are not familiar with Microsoft Applied Skills, this was something that was announced back in 2023. I will put a link to my video in the description of this video if you want to get a more thorough rundown, but I'm going to give you a summary right here. Microsoft announced this back in October 2023. This is a new type of credential you can put on your resume, and it involves very, very uh, hands-on oriented interactive labs. Microsoft gives you a breakdown right here. Actually, if you want to know how you can find this page, all you got to do is go to Google and do a search for Microsoft Applied Skills. Go right here, announcing their applied skills, and you can find this exact same page. They give you a quick little video there, but right here is the breakdown. What's the difference between Microsoft Applied Skills and certifications? Certifications validates a broad technical proficiency. Their role-based breadth of skills, uh, exams with interactive elements scheduled, with applied skills, they validate at one specific skill. Their project-based, scenario-specific skills assessment via interactive labs. That right there is the key, uh, key element that you want to focus on. Their interactive lab experiences. Okay, um, so at one time Microsoft kind of tinkered around that with their certifications, but ultimately this is what Microsoft Applied Skills are all about. Now, I actually uh, jumped in and did one of these. I've created a course for it. I want to say a couple things on that real quick. I hope you'll give me a like and subscribe, trying real hard to grow this channel. And also, um, I, am, I have created my very first course on Microsoft Applied Skills, and uh, I took one. I loved it. I loved every second of it. I think this is fantastic. I highly recommend it. I think that this is going to be great on a uh, resume, and so how can you check these out? If you go right here, um, I'll go right here and look at this, uh, check out the initial set of credentials. Let me open that up. If we go and look at it, here is the initial ones. This is the one that my course currently is focused on, although I am going to create more of these. Configure secure access to your workloads using Azure Networking. All of my courses are on sale right now at examlabpractice.com slash courses for a very limited time if you go check that out. All the links already have the coupon codes for you to me put in. But this is my new one. If you look towards the top of the site, you'll see it. The Microsoft Applied Skills, you can check that out. I'm calling it a mini course. Um, and it's a you can literally take my course and this in one day and knock them both out. So you can take the course, learn what you need to know to pass this applied skill, and then pass it, all right? You're gonna learn the elements you need to know and jump right in and take it. The things that you're gonna be doing in this one, configure secure access to your workloads using Azure, okay? You're gonna learn about uh, create and configure virtual networks, network routing, DNS zones, configure DNS zones, settings, working with network security groups, Azure Firewall, um, one thing I've learned about this is there's a very specific set of tasks they want you to do. So what I'm doing as I create courses for these is I am going to be creating just, I'm going to focus on just the things you need to know, all right, just the items you need to know. We're not going to do deep dives or any of that. If you want the deep dives, you want to take the actual courses on certifications like AZ-104, AZ-305, things like that. But with these, you literally could take... Um, I think this course that I've created is like three hours long. So you could take a three hour course and then take this thing and then you're going to be ready to, uh, to knock this thing out. So you literally could do this in one day. But this is fantastic. I really am excited about these. I think Microsoft um, has uh, done a great job with them so far. Uh, I'm interested to see where they go. But ultimately what happens is you'll take these assessments. They're not, as far as I've seen, they're not like watching you or anything. Um, you can Google stuff, you can use MS Paint to draw <laughs> while you're doing it, um, you, uh, you can watch YouTube videos, you probably could even watch Udemy, my Udemy videos, while you're taking the assessment, just so you know, okay? And two hours is actually plenty of time to do it. 
Um, although I actually will recommend you don't use Firefox to take it because uh, I actually used Firefox and had a problem where my screen was shrunk was uh, too small and I couldn't see everything. But even though my screen was actually like this, I should show you. This is literally what my screen looked like when I took mine. Um, I actually did just fine on it, <laughs> but but that's how small my screen was. Um, people who have used Chrome or Edge do not seem to have that problem, so I will warn you about that. Uh, I don't know if that's just a Firefox thing or if it just happened to me, but I do want to warn you I would either use Chrome or Edge if you take one of those, okay? Anyway, these are the Microsoft Applied Skills. You can check out all of them. You go here to their initial set of uh, offerings. Currently, the only one that I'm offering a course on is this one, but I am planning on offering a bunch. Again, check out examlabpractice.com slash courses. All of the courses are on sale as low, uh, low as I can get them at the moment. Um, and then the new course was just released, so check that out. And I uh, hope you guys are excited about these. Don't forget, I'm putting a link in description on my more thorough video where I explain a little bit more about the Microsoft Applied Skills as well. But this is a great one. This is a great one to start with as well if you're sort of newer to a lot of this stuff. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you in the next one.